Stanley yelled at lives under a dark cloud. Ever since his great-great-grandfather stole a pig from an old gypsy woman, his whole family has been cursed with bad luck. Elia Yelnats left the old country to make his way in America, but the curse seemed to follow him and his descendants. No matter what they try, their luck just seems to go south. That's how Stanley was wrongly accused and convicted of stealing a pair of sneakers. He tried to explain to the judge that the shoes fell from the sky, but no one would believe his crazy story. It was either jail or reform camp. Just how bad could camp be? Stanley was about to find out. At Camp Green Lake, there is no lake. A hundred years ago, this land was a lush and pleasant lakeside town, but the lake dried up in the Texas heat. All that's left is a dry lake bed. There isn't a drop of water for miles. There really isn't anything around for miles, except holes. There's plenty of holes. A Camp Green Lake, Stanley and his fellow campers dig. Every day before break of dawn, they dig. One hole per kid, five feet deep and five feet wide. They sometimes get a break for water, but mostly, they dig. In the barren Texas desert and under the brutal rays of the sun, they dig. In amongst the rattlesnakes, scorpions, and deadly spotted lizards, they dig. No one knows what they're digging for, if anything, but they dig. The kids have been told that they are in this camp to build character and mend their ways. How, you ask? They dig. But perhaps Stanley's friendship with fellow resident Zero has the potential to change his luck forever. The key to their future lies in the stories of the past. Could all this have something to do with Outlaw kissing Kate Bartlow and her long-lost treasure? Find out more by going to your local library and picking up a copy of Louis Satchar's Holes.